I've seen so many people over the years get stuck on not having just the right professional title or description, a succinct description of their work, and it keeps them from going out there and telling people about their work and getting clients and just feeling that pr profound sense of service and enjoyment in their true livelihood. And so I, I just wanted to make this video to encourage you that if you are feeling stuck about your professional title or succinct description, to let it go. Yes, if you are feeling stuck on getting the perfect brand for what you do, you know what? Let it go. Yes, because, and if I may share with you my own example, <laughs> I still don't think that my professional title is right, is not really descriptive of what I do. It doesn't encompass the wholeness of what I do. My, as of this recording anyway, my title is Authentic Business Coach. And I kind of have to laugh when I say it because number one, it's been about, a, it's been about two years actually that I've stopped taking one-on-one -on -one clients, at least two years. Um, I've been focused almost entirely on my group programs and also on launching do-it-yourself courses. So my title doesn't describe what I've been doing for the last two years already. But I just, guess what? So here's the secret of all this that, that may shock you. Even if your title is inaccurate, you can still be getting plenty of inquiries. And I still do, like on a, you know, almost daily basis, I get inquiries that I can't fulfill. And so I refer them to my, you know, my protégés, my clients who know. But, but here's, here's why. Here's why it doesn't matter. And here's maybe it'll give you relief. What matters more is that you have more people experiencing the actual work that you do. And people experience the work that you do in two ways. One is either they actually literally sign up for working with you and in the beginning, when you don't have anybody working with you, you may, if, I think, if I were starting over, it would be smart to not charge for a while for people to experience your work. I actually have a, a strategy for this that I call the tapering strategy for getting clients. So if you simply went and Googled, go to Google and search tapering strategy for clients, you will find my blog post about it. Um, but anyway, so one is you need more people literally experiencing the work that you do. So getting your friends and family, preferring the right people to experience the work you do. Number one. Number two is people experience your presence with content. That's why you see me showing up consistently on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. You don't have to do all of them. You can just pick one that you really enjoy engaging with and, and just do that one. But if people, sh people see you consistently do your presence and talking about the things you enjoy working with people on, if they see you consistently doing that, they will experience, they will describe your work to their friends probably better than you can. Because they're in front of their friend and their friend is saying, oh, I need help with this aspect of my health. Oh, I am really going through this thing with my relationships. And th th your audience member is going to tell your, uh, that friend, oh, I know just a person. I've been watching their videos on Instagram or I've been, I've been watching, reading their posts on LinkedIn or whatever. And they're just going to tell them about you and then that friend will come and look for you and then that friend will start subscribing or, or watching your videos or whatever. And now you're going to have a new client. So two things. One is you need more people actually experiencing the magic of your, the magic of your work, number one. So get that going as soon as possible. And number two, you need to show up more consistently with your content, especially on video if you can, because that's the most powerful way for people to experience your presence and to actually remember you. And besides those two things, your, your title, your, your, your a succinct description of what you do and your professional title, if you're getting stuck right now with that, let it go. It's okay not to have it. It's okay to even have a badly, it, it, I, okay, if you want to uh, do a, a funny 
a quick exercise. Well, the video itself is half an hour long, but in that exercise, in that video, I, I give a quick exercise on this. Just Google, you don't need a title, George Cow. I mean, if you do Google, you don't need a title. I probably don't come up, but Google, you don't need a title, George Cow, and you will find that 28 minute video on YouTube where it will walk you through this very uh, quick and interesting <laughs> exercise. So, um, whether you have a title or not, I want to say this. The reason why I am so resistant to nailing down my brand, okay, is because I understand, and I believe this to be true of you as well, I am infinite intelligence. You are an unlimited creative being with unlimited potential of offerings within you that is of great diversity. So because we are so infinite and unlimited, that's why we never feel really comfortable with a brand, a title, a description, no matter how perfectly copywritten it is, you'll never feel totally comfortable because you know it doesn't integrate the wholeness of who you are because the wholeness of who you are cannot be contained with words or with an image. So whether you have a title or not, if you have a title already, great, keep, just keep it. You don't have to struggle with it. You just need to get out there and get more people experiencing your work, letting them describe what you do because they see your content on a consistent basis. I hope this is helpful. Anyway, Google, you don't need a title, George Cow, and you'll find that 28 minute video that walks you through the exercise. But I hope this is encouraging for you, helps give you some relief. And until the next video, I wish you well. Take care.